Hey YouTube, Ball5 here. I finally have another NU replay. Finally, uh, uh, playing my home turf. Finally playing, like, a tier I can, like, play for once and not pee while I'm getting hacked every single ladder game. This is also a ladder game. And you guys remember that when you foresee the body bag and dip? Well, as you guys can tell, this is, like, a similar thing. So we have a Vivalon versus Drapion League matchup. I'm, like, defensive Drapion, so I'm not faster. I am Spadef, so, like, there's also that. And he sets up on one core advance, which is okay. But he makes a play that I can't really say I agree with here, which is setting up another one. And the reason I can't really agree with that play is because one, there's a chance I wake up and like kill you and two, I'm slower. So like I'm slower droopy on to run whirlwind. And this guy's team is actually trick room. It's just uh, I couldn't actually believe when I saw it because if you take a look at his team. It's a nice crit. If you take a look at his team, like he only has like two like he has like Copagrigus and potentially Embor is an abuser. And then he has like, he does have three potential setters in Kofag, Yuxi, and Meloetta. I did that thinking, or uh, scouting for energy ball, but he just puts me back to sleep. And then I know he's gonna hurricane again because he's about to die if he doesn't. So I just go back into Rhydon, let Rhydon take it. And Rhydon uh, took quite a bit of a beating. He goes into Yuxi, I'm like, hey, free rocks because Yuxi's not killing me, right? But he's magic coat. So like this happens for a couple of turns. He just bounces the rocks back. Good play on his part. He goes for another one though. And um, I'm just gonna, Keep spamming Stealth Rock because like that's the only move in the world. I have Earthquake Slowing Megahorn. I think after a while I just actually click Megahorn and then miss is actually what's gonna end up happening. So yeah, he clicks it a fourth time. I think I Megahorn here and miss, which is kind of unfortunate. It's really lame that I missed that Megahorn. But I mean, I get my rocks up again because I thought I was gonna Megahorn again. So I mean, it worked. Then he switches out into Copag, I think. He goes into Copag. I think I missed another Megahorn probably. Oh, never mind. I hit P ladder got me messed up, making me think I'm getting hacks everywhere now. So yeah, and I have the Drapion, which should counter this. I forgot to put T-Spikes on this Drapion. Or I had a, a my own Copag, it's like a bulky T-Spikes Copag, so I had Poison Jump on the Drapion. And I never changed it, despite meaning to. And Drapion's just gonna stay asleep, like, come on, is this a sleep or a coma? Like, wake up, Drapion, you sleepy ass. But like, Drapion, of course, stays asleep. I'm like, wake up, bruh. So I finally, nope, I stay asleep, I whirlwinded that turn. I actually whirlwinded, which was an amazing play on my part. And it would have worked perfectly. But nah, he actually just gets to trick him up. I finally wake up after like, Drapion was like in a coma. And whirlwind, and I don't get bodied by Kofan. So there's also that. Like I actually would have gotten bodied. Thank the lord that there's a limit to how many turns you can sleep. I'm just gonna knock off Meloetta, he dazzling gleams, doesn't kill because I'm bulky Drapion. Uh, bulky Drapion's amazing is shown here and Meloid is pretty much gone as that's basically that he goes out and ditto I should have knocked off Ditto's scarf that would have been a great play on my part but it actually ends up not being too bad because I taunt him for whatever reason I thought like you know he would like whirlwind or hit me with his own taunt whirlwind was a decent play I low-key would have whirlwinded and gotten taunted for it but yeah I'm just gonna go into young Polly because he's locked in a knockoff because I didn't knock off his scarf he switches out into Copagrigus, but I'm sub bulk up Polyrath, which is what the team was built around. So I'm just gonna sub up here. Uh, he has to break my sub. And th these variants of Copag don't run recovery. He nasty plots, which means he has to uh, set up he has to set up Trick Room and then break my sub. Or he has to just break my sub. But he actually flinches. I think he would have either Trick Room or Shadow Ball there, either one was a good play. But he flinched, the world will never know. He goes out, or he goes for a waterfall, and he's dead. He goes out into Ditto after some leftovers. He goes out into Ditto, which was a trash play on his part because you can't transform one behind the sub. You can't break the sub because Ditto's only move is transform. I'm gonna set up a bulk up, and I'm probably faster than Yuxi because I am a. Uh, my Polyrath outruns Garbodor and Machamp that, or Machamp and Garbodor that creep Machamp. So if he's zero speed IV Yuxi for the trick room, I'm faster. He realizes that he's about to get whooped. And he just, he just gets out. He just forfeits. There might have been a chance, but there isn't a move he could lock himself into. Because he can't do circle the rock ramble. And he can't, like, if he, I'm saying if he, if he breaks my sub, say with Embor, and then sacks it, and then goes back into Ditto. He can't lock himself into Waterfall, because I have a Polyrath and a Vaporeon. And he can't use Water or Circle Throw, because I have a Grand. So yeah, that's going to be that replay. Polyrath basically would have bodied, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.